Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. We are going to be looking at mean variance and standard deviation of grouped data. So we have our problem here. Below are the heights in centimeters of 40 people in a social group. Calculate the mean variance and standard deviation. So we have the data here and uh, for the heights column, it is believed that 135 to 144 centimeters, the people whose heights fall within this range are four. In the same way, from 145 to 154, those whose heights fall within the range are five. In the same way, 155 to 164, those whose height fall within the range are uh, eight in number, 165 to 174, have people within this range to be 14. Six people have their height between 175 to 184. And lastly, three people have their height between 185 to 194. So we're going to start the solution from the mean. Um, the formula for mean is summation of fx over summation of f. That's sigma fx over sigma f. This means we are going to find the frequency multiplied by x and sum it up. We sum up the frequencies also. But here, this is the class interval and this is the frequency. We already have f here. Our x for grouped data is the mid value of the class intervals. So we create two additional columns for x and at the same time fx. Um, for f, we already have it as 4, 5, 8, 14, 6, and 3. Then we get our x. We have to do that x is mid value of the lower limit and the upper limit. So we add 135 to 144 divided by 2. We have 139.5. The same way, 145 plus 154 divided by 2. We have 149.5. 155 plus 164 divided by 2 gives 159.5. 165 to 174 divided by 2 gives 169.5 175 plus 184 divided by 2 gives 179.5 185 plus 194 divided by 2 gives 189.5 so having gotten our x here we then go ahead to multiply f and x 4 times 139.5 gives 558 5 times 149.5 gives 747.5 8 times 159.5 gives 1276 14 times 169.5 gives 2373 6 times 179.5 gives 1077 and finally, 3 times 189.5 gives 568.5. So we go ahead now to add up the two columns. 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 14 plus 6 plus 3 gives 40. It has already been stated anyway. Then we have, we need our sigma fx. That's summation of all the fx. So 558 plus 747.5 plus 1,276 plus 2,373 plus 1,077 plus 568.5 gives 6,600. We then substitute into this formula to get our mean. So we substitute summation of fx is 6,600 divide by 40, which is the summation of F. And this gives 
165 centimeters. And that's all for the mean. We then go ahead to calculate the variance. So we have the formula for variance here. It is sigma f into x minus x bar squared over sigma f minus 1. The minus 1 is necessary because it is just a sample data since it is just a social group, not the entire group. So what we do here now is we have gotten our x bar. x bar means the mean of this distribution. So we are going to create um, more columns to accommodate x minus x bar, then x minus x bar squared, then multiplying the x minus x bar squared by f. So we have the first one, x minus x bar. Next is squaring this, which is x minus x bar squared. The next is multiplying this by the frequency, which is f x minus x bar squared. So starting from here, um, our x bar is 165. So 139.5 minus 165 gives negative 25.5. 149.5 minus 165 gives negative 15.5. 159.5 minus 165 gives negative 5.5. 169.5 minus 165 gives 4.5. 179.5 minus 165 gives 14.5. And finally, 189.5 minus 165 gives 24.5. So in this column now, we are going to square this. Negative 25.5 squared gives 650.25. 15.5 squared gives 240.25. 5.5 squared is 30.25. 4.5 squared is 20.25. 14.5 squared is 210.25 finally 24.5 squared gives 600.25 so that is that for x minus x bars squared then the next thing is the frequency multiplying x minus x bar all squared so this is this column multiplying this so 4 times 650.25 gives 2601 5 multiplying 240.25 gives 1201.25. 8 times 30.25 gives 242. 14 times 20.25 gives 283.5. 6 times 210.25 gives 1261.5. 3 times 600.25 gives 1800.75 so that is that for f into x minus x bar squared multiplying the second column here by this column we got this so the next thing we need to do is sigma f into x minus x bar squared that's summing up all the values in this column so 2601 plus 1201.25 plus 242 plus 283.5 plus 1261.5 plus 1800.75 gives 7390. Then we substitute into our formula to get our variance. Now, substitution the Summation of f into x minus x bar squared is 7390, then 40 minus 1, because summation of f is 40 minus 1 gives 39. So we have 7390 divided by 39, and this gives 189.49, which represents the variance of the distribution. We then go for the standard deviation. Standard deviation is square root of variance. So in order to obtain the standard deviation for this distribution, we are going to find 
the square root of 189.49 and square root of 189.49 gives 13.77 to two decimal places and here we are at the end of the solution to the problem we have been able to calculate the mean variance and standard deviation of the distribution as represented in the problem and this is where we are ending this tutorial thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to other videos on statistics and more also please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel hit the notification button anytime we drop our content you'll be duly notified once again thank you for watching until we come your way again goodbye